Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to start by taking a look at the two quiz problems that I forgot to do last time. And then we're going to play some games. Um, so let's first start, check out what it is that we missed, or that rather I missed, these last couple games, and how I can do better. So first question is, do we drop the silver on 8-3, or we drop a pawn next to the king? on 3-4. I mean, the king's on 3-1. Their rook is over here. But clearly, this is where I need to be aiming. At least in my post-game analysis, this is what I had seen. Um, yeah, we could play the teaching ladder game today, sure. Today or tomorrow, I think either is fine. Let's check out what our next problem is. So then here we have a choice between exchanging bishops or what I did, which was a passing move. And I don't remember why this was good, but my passing move was not very good. So here we could exchange pieces and then the center becomes a big target for the attack, which is not super obvious. Um, so yeah, let's uh, go ahead and get our game started here then. We play 10 minutes and this is going to be good fun. Um, yeah, I've only got like an hour here, so oh, good luck. So I might need to schedule a teaching ladder for some other later time today if we do it today, but um, today is fine. Um, it's just, uh, there's something I want to catch an hour from now. Um, Alright, so this bishop's head is already a target. So let's aim directly for it. Um, I guess spend one move castling, because our opponent has spent zero castling. And then just go for it. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. I uh, hope that um, you're able to sell, or, I mean, you're not in the U.S. U.S., it's going to be Independence Day weekend. Uh, it's going to be its own source of joy. Um, all right, so I'm going to target the head of this bishop without blocking my rook. Ah! This is what they had planned the entire time. I mean, I've done this sort of thing before with this bishop retreat, um, and it can be useful to do that. Um, in fact, this is why you don't bring up this silver to hit the bishop. Uh, we're learning this opening step by step by making every possible mistake, and then hopefully not repeating those mistakes. Um, so... Yeah, our opponent's going to castle this way. Um, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Because my opponent has shut down my attack. Um, if I move my gold, this makes it easier for their rook to activate, so I don't really want to move that. But I'm not really motivated to move anything else either. I know this frequently does move, but now the bishop can attack my rook. Unless I move the rook. But if I move the rook, then I might want to move the knight here. Um, it's complicated. Um, so, yeah, I guess this is all why you tend to move the silver out this way, even though it temporarily blocks the rook. Um, all right, we're switching gears here. It's going to be kind of wild. Um, so I tend to prefer to play a central file attack, and looks like that's what we're going to get this game. Uh, let's see what we get. Squeeze first, check later. Yeah, so if you seek to check every turn, it gets really difficult to surround your opponent's king. It's a fun little proverb. Um, now one thing I could do is bring up this pawn to prevent this bishop from using the square too effectively. And that might be my best use of time here. 
Um, if I try anything too aggressive, they they blast my position to bits. So I gotta be careful. Um, all right, so we're going to take some space. And this way, if their bishop moves out, we can immediately hit the bishop. They might bring this, this knight out, and I might retort the same way. Um, yeah, this is a mess. If I push this, we can exchange pawns, but that's... Well, I don't know if that's favorable. Um, but I can't leave my bishop blocked forever. So, yeah, they build a really solid castle. And... I don't know. We're going to move the silver. It's going to be a hot mess. Um, because I'm playing super aggressively and moving my castle up the board. Mm -hmm. So that's a castle. It's a very rapid castle. Um... I'm not sure how tenacious that's going to be here. Why would they do that? What do they need this pawn for? Um, maybe they're anxious about something. Maybe I've made them anxious. Um... All right, let's see where we end up. Hmm. Interesting. I am going to take that. So now I can repel the rook, or I could exchange rooks. If I exchange rooks, everything of both players is hanging. Uh, which is kind of wild. They have a much more solid castle than I do, so I shouldn't even be considering an exchange. Other than I like crazy positions. Um... I don't think I can get away with it. Yeah, there's no reason for me to go into any of that insanity here. My position's just fine how it is. Um, Alright, we'll attack in the center instead. Which complicates everything, but this works a target. It's not defended. Um, so how can they advance here? I'm not even sure if they take my pawn, am I supposed to do bishop takes or silver takes? It doesn't look easy. Um, okay, my overlay is still good. I'm sorry, my overlay I did forgot to switch. This looks much better. I apologize for that. I hit some other key on my keyboard and then lost my OBS window. Hopefully things were going through. Um... Okay, that is aggressive. Hmm. So if I push, they drop a pawn. I'm out of aggressive moves at that point. Uh, I move my knight up. 
We get tactics. Go fun. Hmm. I move them. Oh, okay. Actually, they're. We're gonna get tactics no matter what here. I think this is the most interesting way to get tactics is with my bishop active. Um. Yeah. So here. Here I'm gonna be the dummy who does this. Because I kept reading and reading and reading there, and I didn't see anything better to do. Um. So that's a fork. If I take the silver, then I'm threatening to take everything next to the silver. Um, meanwhile, they can drop a rook and attack all my pieces, but I can move the gold over, and it takes them some time to collect all this. Let me check, is my mic active? Mic is active. Good. So, yeah, I would be tempted to drop the rook on 2-8, um, but there are problems with that, because, like, I can move up the knight and then take their knight. So it's not exactly smooth sailing after this rook drop. They've got a castle that's super low here. I built a castle very quickly, but at least I do have a castle today. Um. Oh, I'm sorry, if they drop... Well, actually, yeah, if they drop a rook, if I move the knight, knight takes, defends the rook. That would be a blunder. So, yeah, if they attack this... Probably I move the gold over to defend it. Or I take the silver. I'm not sure. If I take the silver, I could drop it there next, threaten to take this, exchange here, etc. Um, yeah, how do I remain the most active here? If I move the gold over, it takes them time to collect all my stuff. Otherwise, all right, this somehow feels right. I'm just going to roll with it. Oh, shoot, they could move the knight out. I didn't see that. But I think it works in my favor because the silver is still hanging. They could retreat the silver. They don't. Um, all right, we're going to take this and have a dragon and an advanced pawn and a bishop that's getting ready to attack. Um, okay. Their dragon does defend quite well. Um, hmm. All right, this looks interesting. Since my king's exposed, okay, yes, I'm allergic to exchanging pieces. But also, I want to get a free move. Every free tempo I can get is one tempo away from... Uh, slows. I want to slow down their attack, and slowing it down is going to require some sacrifice. So they could take here, I could take that. Um, 
guess that's where I'm going next. All right, so I'm now, well, I'm kind of attacking this, but really not because the bishop defends it. Um, still two silvers to attack with sounds like a lot. I guess I could drop one here, and that hits a bishop. So this is not trivial for them. They might drop a pawn. They do. Um, hmm. All right, I offer a dragon exchange. Uh, they decline. Or rather, they aren't going to give me that for free. Um, yeah, my... I had a tactical oversight there. All right, so... Somehow I thought that tactic would work in my favor, and it did not at all. So all these pieces are still floating out here, which is a bit worrisome. I ended up giving them a silver in that exchange, um, and they have a harder castle now than they did earlier. So yeah, if I drop a rook, they can like defend this using a pawn. Um, it's it's going to take some force to open this castle again. I might drop the rook here and then take this knight, because I don't know what else to do. Um, it'd be great if I had the right pieces to checkmate with, but I don't think I do. So we attack this gold. But also we're threatening to take their knight, defending our knight. And they might drop the lance here now that I stop for an instant to think about it. I could also promote my bishop. Um, see what they do to defend, but they probably drop... Well, if they drop something there, it doesn't really stop me. Um... I'm sorry, if they drop a silver there... Yeah, if I exchange, their gold can take, so yeah, it actually does stop me. Alright, so we defend this knight. And this is going to be difficult. Take a piece. This is quite a mess. Normally you don't do moves like that. Here I think it makes some sense, just given this particular very odd combination of pieces. But normally that's not worth pursuing. Maybe I even try to win the horse. It's such a... Okay. Anyway, they gave me the horse. So I have to pick up the pace a bit. But they don't have the right pieces to mate. Oh, they'll drop a silver here.
Mm. It's the logical continuation to what they tried earlier. I don't know if it works, but... Um, yeah, now they're going to try to find some way with their th uh, two pawns, silver and rook in hand to find any way to check me. Um, so, meanwhile, I remove this silver. And this silver hangs until they defend it somehow. Okay, what's going to defend this? Maybe that was unwise. Alright, so I defend myself again. Um, defend my king's head. Thanks for the game. Welcome. Hello. It's going to be Independence Day weekend, so I look forward this weekend to playing... Uh, good luck. Look forward this weekend to having some time to study, as well as um, some time to play some slower games. That time hasn't happened yet, as... Um, my free software project has been moving at a breakneck speed. Um, um, just integrating lots and lots of features with many different free software servers across hundreds of Discord servers. Which probably doesn't mean much to most people, but um, it means that a lot of people could use my help with a lot of things. Um, But I think that project is finally making a lot of progress. Um, are they really going to build the castle in the corner? Sure seems that way. Well, not necessarily. Oh, wait. They're building a different castle than I thought what they were building. Um, that's interesting. All right, so we deny this knight and silver the ability to use this file. Oh, this is fine. This is going to be an interesting experience. Okay, we're going to reroute the rook. So now I can take all the time in the world to build Silver Crown and stuff like that. Um, The 1607 match, I don't, I probably did watch it at some point, but I don't remember it by that name. 
I did watch many Hidechi videos. I just don't recall whether or not I'd seen that particular one. Interesting. What's that threatening? You got me stumped. I think I can attack this bishop. It's possible we might be both playing out of a lot of, um, what's the word? 
Excitement. That's one word, but Go that's fun. not what I'm thinking of. Um, So, um, I intend to play a few games and then probably wrap up at the end of the hour. Um, well, I don't know, we could play maybe one or two after this series, I guess. Um, I could change my schedule. That could be fun. I don't know. And certainly I'm playing with a lot of aggression here. Um, not a lot of caution, though. So... I am so confused. All right, let's hit this gold general over here. This, I guess, allows them to drop a silver in defense, uh, which I might take. Oh, okay. <laughs> defense is not on today's menu, I guess. Um, maybe I take this. That's too crazy. All right, let's take this one instead. It's, now that that's played, it can't move. It doesn't need to move. It's in a good spot. Um. Hmm. All right, we activate my rook. Sampun. What a weird position. Okay, let's keep my king not directly in the center of the board. Um... I don't see anything better than taking that. I did spend a little time looking. Okay, let's pursue checkmate. So... Yeah, next, um... Hmm. Fine, I'll take your general if you really want me to take it that badly. Um, Take your general here also. 
just keep attacking. Mm -hmm. I never said this is going to be pretty. Alright, I can't allow myself to recklessly get checkmated here. Oh, they don't have a rook in hand. Somehow I keep evaluating this as if they could take this and threaten mate instantly. And they don't have a rook. They don't have mate in one. So I'm actually threatening to take this bold general. Um... I have to keep this horse not next to my king. I think if I let them drop a gold general there... Uh, wait, actually my king could run up the center of the board. I didn't think it could. Um, but no, it could have done that. So this was wasteful. Also, moving a gold down would have been um, less wasteful. But regardless, they can't reinforce their castle. Actually, they could defend a gold with a gold. Uh, that would reinforce it. I could drop a silver and take that, but... Um, it is possible for them to reinforce their castle. Now it's not. All right, it's your move. You don't have a threat. That's a good way to try to make a threat. Oh, that... I don't know. I'm not reading this properly. I might have missed, like, Mate in 5 or something there. This is the part where the opponent gives away all their pieces and hopes for a bishop fork. Although even that wouldn't save them here. Oh, they have a gold drop right here. which I could counter with a knight drop. Mm. Okay, it did matter. I did need to find that mate earlier, because this gets complicated. If they drop here, I take it. No, I, I don't know. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Crap.
That could have been quite ugly. Thanks for the game. Need to do more Suma. Say it every time. Yeah. That was exciting. Good luck. See, if we brought our A game every game, then where would the content be? What's this? I don't understand. All right, what the heck was the right move order here? Um, it does matter. I don't remember. This is hanging. Um, so we're going to threaten that. What the hell? Okay, so we're going to win that. And then take a bishop. Bishops are excellent in the opening. Is there some reason I shouldn't want this? Other than I don't need it? Um... Well, it helps activate their silver if I take that. But I could immediately drop the bishop here and start it. Like, what is this nonsense? Their dragon is just as convincing as my bishop. Hmm. Hmm. Now, I want to see where this goes. You're not going to bully me out of it. Show me. Show me why this isn't losing. Nanafun. Oh, this is hanging. But then I could drop another one.
get the sense that we're having two different conversations this game. This pawn drop might have been a blunder. Yeah, bishops, uh, yeah, you're right. They're just horrible defensive pieces. Oh, God. I did, I was only looking at my attack. Um, there's one small problem with that. Wait, no, my gold will, if they exchange, hang on, silver drop. King retreats, they take, I take, they drop a gold, I'm dead. There's no way out of that. <sighs> That's a pity. This was an interesting game. Not an accurate one. Definitely not an accurate one. Yep. All right, I have no choice. I'll see what they do. Yep. Let's see how they choose to end it. All right, so 
I guess the moral of the story is um, you have to pay attention both to the attack and to the defense. And the game clock doesn't matter if you get checkmated. Yeah, he still has mate here. I missed this mate in five sequence. I'm so fixated on can I checkmate my opponent. Um, it didn't occur to me that I could get checkmated. So, I'll try to enjoy this. Um, yeah, thinking back over it. I guess they did demonstrate. Oh, interesting. They missed it. How many times can they miss checkmate, I wonder? Let's find out. Or are they just coming up with this really decorative checkmate, perhaps? Maybe that's what they're doing. I wonder if there's like some badge or something in the system that encourages um, such play. I'm not aware of anything like that. But yeah, you could do some, you could call this artistic or whatever, I guess. I don't think it's that, but some people might. <laughs> um, one could argue that it's just as disrespectful for me to not resign. And yeah, you'll find some games on Lee Chess where I do like promote multiple pieces when my opponent has been obstinate for quite a while. But I do tend to end those games after I do all my promotions. I don't drag it out. It's only if the opponent has like been down some losing amount of material for 40 or 50 moves that I do drag it out sometimes another 40. But usually, uh, I just have my fun get it over with. Oh, okay. I know Deep L is a website um, where they do fairly accurate translation. I could consider reporting this person. Yeah, it's an option. It'd be interesting to hear what the team has to say about this sort of thing. I don't think it quite rises to the level. Because, um, like, here, equal... It's not like a player who does bishop exchange and deliberately doesn't promote the bishop or something goofy like that. Um, here, like, clearly I should be resigning... Because I made it. Um, so, you know, there's no moral high ground in this position. I don't know the server policy well enough to say, like, that certain behavior is completely uncalled for. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So that's kind of what we're banking on here, is that, ooh, they might mess up. Because um, we do take these games fairly competitively. I mean, I don't... I take 81 Dojo games more seriously than I take Shogi Wars. And maybe if I reported this... Um, well, the funny thing about this site is, like, if you disconnect, it's over. I mean, yeah, you could reconnect, maybe, but I've never, I've maybe once or twice seen a re successful reconnection. So that's the real danger they're running into here. It's not necessarily that they'll mess this up, but if their connection goes down and uh, the game gets defaulted, that would be a shame. Yeah, that's the real concern there, but yeah, if you're playing competitively, you don't screw around. Um, now one could argue that this silver drop I played was pretty playful and naive, and I missed a mate in five. And that's just because I'm, like, total amateur 1Q here. But, um, 
Yeah. It's... This is something different. This is something that... It's possible that I might also be in fraction or be in infraction of the rules for playing such a stupid move. Um, like, I should know better. I could be infracting some rule for playing bad openings somehow, or I don't know. So, like, if I report, I could potentially be in just as much trouble as my opponent here. I'm not familiar enough with the rules, but, you know, we... Maybe Alexi can persuade me to like where to look up the rules and better understand them. But yeah, I'm actually predicting uh, that they are going to time out because something comes up IRL and they have to attend to that instead of the game. Doesn't mean I'm right, but it could happen. Um, but yeah, gold 7-7 seven, seven is mate in one. So, they're probably just going to play gold 7-7 seven, seven at the last second. Or the last 5 seconds or something. You know, yeah, I think 10 seconds or less. If I'd been more on top of the ball here, I would have created a Twitch prediction. But I don't do things with channel points here. But, uh, that occurs to me to be something funny. Um... Yeah, that potentially there could be a prediction going on. Possibly he could also just throw the game for no reason. Or maybe there is a reason. You never know. Alright, here we go. Each. Ni. San. Chi. Ko. Dok. Shich. Hach. Kyu. Shun. Thanks for the game. Alright. So, we did our best. Uh, our best was... Well, actually, we need to get back in shape a bit, but um, we did okay. Yeah, I called it last second. But then I backed off and said last 10 seconds. But anyway, um, yeah, we had a series today. We played. Uh, we're still like one-sixth of the way to one dawn, so there's a lot of a way to go. I uh, hope you enjoyed these games. Thanks for watching.